I mean, it's all right. I, you know what? To be honest, if I had to do it, if I had no choice, you know, it's either ride at these speeds or ride nothing. I would still ride because it just feels great, doesn't it? Just balancing on a wheel, even going slow, walking pace. But uh, it sucks compared to going fast. I mean, when you go fast, it's ten times more fun. And it makes me like, what the fuck is, what is it doing? Can you hear all those beeps? So I'm hitting the beeps, guys. I'm going like five. I just don't get it. You know, how did people, imagine being back in 2015 when the fastest wheel you could get was like this fast, like jogging speed. And think about it. If that's the top speed of the wheel, it means you can't really go that fast. You know, like on a... Let's say a Sherman, the top speed they say is 80 kilometers an hour, but you shouldn't really go much more than 70 or else you're like near the limit. So imagine having a 12 mile per hour machine. That means you can really only go like 10 and you're at the limit. You're at like, you're in the danger zone. You get different looks like when you go like slow like this, you get certain people will like smile at you because they're like oh look it's cool you know to and those same people though if they saw you going fast they would be frowning at you like oh look at this hoon you know you get certain reactions like that but then you've got the other type of people that will smile when they see you going fast they'll be like oh look at that but if those people saw you going slow they'd be like ah oh, look at that dog <laughs> Guys, see, I just went past this dude right there, and I don't want to. I don't want this thing to scream out, "Please decelerate!" You know, just <laughs> I go past someone. It's like it's the cringiest thing because I'm only going like freaking walking speed, and this thing is saying, "Please, please, please decelerate, decelerate, decelerate." <laughs> Done. Let's see how we go. I reckon it's just those four screws. Let's try. I'll get power on there. Power on there. Looks like we can, guys. It's not that hard to replace the main board. There we go. So, it should come out now. And it does look. Yes, yes, easy as that, see, free. And now we check that one out. All right, so same thing, just in reverse. Chuck it in, slip it in, slide it in. Maybe I'm gonna have to take this trolley handle out. Just putting this back in is it's looking a lot harder than it was to take it out.
There we go. There's the cable like underneath it, just stopping it from dropping to place. So it's in place and yeah, it looks good. It looks all good. So now all I'm going to do is put those screws back in. Those four. And I'm doing it by hand because when you tighten it with a, a power drill, it's easier to over tighten it. All right, so let's connect the batteries. It's got two sides. See, just connect that and then the other side is the same thing. So let's do it. It's one side. And I'm a bit scared too because last time when I did this, there was something else wrong. And then when I actually powered it up, it just kept spinning and it didn't cut out. So I was just stuck holding this spinning wheel, trying to disconnect these batteries. So let's hope this doesn't happen again, guys. And it did a burn out of my legs, so I'll be careful about that too. All right. You ready? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove it from the stand. And I got that hot glue gun. Look, it's melting away, see? As soon as I test this, I'll apply the glue, you know, before I can close it up. So, let's see how we go. Fingers crossed, guys, fingers crossed. Power button. Oh, yes. Yes, it works, guys. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, my, my camera gave up. The gimbal on the camera just gave up. But at least this gimbal is working. At least this gimbal here is working, guys. That's all that matters. Oh, guys. Yes. Yes. That's, oh, that's so good to see. All right. Power down and let's see, guys. We're going to be riding. So we've got something to ride while I wait for those Sherman parts. Or oh, it's just like the Sherman tube. The 14 inch Sherman. Remember? All right, so. All I'm going to do now is put that glue. All right. Even on the lowest torque setting, most of these drills will overpower it. Done. Woo. Let's test this base one more time. Looking good. Now the pedals. And then this should go in and screw in. Alrighty. And that's it. Let's jump on this thing and see how we go. Oh no, did I just run some, run something over? Actually, I'm gonna remove one. Yeah, looks like it works. Whoa. Now this thing feels weird. I haven't used this in so long. 
I've been on the Sherman for like... Well, I haven't ridden this for like six months. Let's take it to the street. Look at that. So I'll get my gear on and we'll cruise. And right there is where we ended the last episode. So awesome, isn't it guys? We got it working. And now we're gonna do our first ride on the street. So let's do it. And just so you know, this is the real test. Oh, it's not, it's like the it's the final test, you know, I tested it already, it seems to be working, self-balancing, did a few, just, you know, riding on the spot, and it seems to be working fine, but now we're gonna do the final test on the street. Now let's gear up, get this thing tested, oh guys, and someone told me a trick. So these think, because these slide down really easily, I mentioned that, and someone told me there's a trick where you feed this through the vent holes instead of the regular holes. I think someone also said you can cross them. I haven't tried that. Go crossways. So you can try that, but what vent holes are you talking Oh. Yeah, the vent holes. Cause see, look, the vent holes angle upwards. So if the if the tension, cause there's tension in these, if that's angled upwards, it'll help keep them up. Cause it'll be pulling them up. That's awesome. Actually, this one. Yeah, that's awesome. That's what it should be designed for. Let's see how it goes. See that? They're in the vent holes now. Nice. Alright. Yeah, look, two vent holes. Two vent holes. It feels like it is holding them up, too. Next, the jacket. And it's not that hot. It is a sunny day, but it's not hot. So it's, it's good to wear this. Especially because I'm testing the, the new you know, it's not a new EUC, it's the new... I don't know what to call it. But I just replaced the main board, so... I wouldn't be prepared for whatever might happen. If you just, you know, left something... Maybe unplugged even. Or just something loose. Or maybe the new main board is... Faulty. Maybe, it, you know, you don't know, it might like... Show its issues when you start riding, so... That's why it's good to be careful and wear all your gear when you first ride a, you know, a new build, whatever you want to call it. All right, let's, let's hit the road. Here we are, guys. Here we are. What it looks like. And guys, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm pretty sure actually, but I don't I haven't tested it yet if I'm gonna be limited to like 20 k's an hour or something like that Because when you change the main board in this thing, it's like getting a brand new wheel and when King Song one thing they do is They force you to ride at like 12 miles an hour for the first 50 miles or something. Oh, I think it's like 20 20 miles 12 miles an hour for 20 miles and then you can be free so we're gonna test it I still haven't seen and I'm being careful like I said I don't want to you know if I made a mistake while I was repairing it then I, I don't want to eat my own mistake I don't want to eat 
gravel. Look at this chair, it's funny. Look, it's been here for so long. Look at this. Normally it's like this. So it's like, it still kind of works. It's missing the front legs, but as long as it's like that, you can call it a chair. Oh, well, there's nowhere to put your legs now, isn't there? So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know about this thing. All right, let's go. All right, let's test it, guys. Please decelerate. Yeah. And can you hear how loud that shit is? That's like everyone within like a hundred meter radius would have heard that. See dogs barking and everything. It's crazy. And you can't do anything about it. You just gotta bear it. Just please decelerate. Please decelerate. Oh, it's doing it to me. Oh, leaning back though, like, tilting back. Please decelerate. Tilting back, tilting back. And hey guys, what I'm gonna... Please decelerate. I'm gonna go... Oh, sir. Jesus. It's got all this dust in my Please face. Decelerate. In my eyes. What I'm gonna do is go and do some shopping. But it's gonna take me like half the day at this speed. And I got old King Song with his favorite lecture. It's King Song class. You go through a, a two hour session and you learn, you learn to decelerate guys. So if you're having trouble decelerating, grab yourself a King Song and you'll know. Well guys, it looks like it's all good, you know, it looks like Well, it, seem, it seems fine, and to be honest, these things are so simple that not much chance anything went wrong. You know, it's like three parts, basically. There's the main board, the motor, and the batteries, basically. This has got speakers and, you know, trolley sensors and stuff, but as far as the riding goes, you know, the power electronics, it's like three parts, basically. Please decelerate. And that's it, guys. That's top speed. That's top speed for now. Maybe we should just catch a bus. I don't know. And I can't wait. I can't wait to get past that 20 miles or whatever it is because it's like freedom at these speeds guys it's I mean it's all right I would, you know what to be honest if I had to do it if I had no choice you know it's either ride at these speeds or ride nothing I would still ride because it's it just feels great doesn't it just balancing on a wheel even going slow walking pace but uh, it sucks compared to going fast. I mean, when you go fast, it's 10 times more fun. And it makes me like, what the fuck is, what is it doing? Can you hear those beeps? So I'm hitting the beeps, guys. I'm going like five. And yeah, as Gura was saying, at these speeds, it's, I just don't get it, you know, how did people, imagine being back in 2015 when the fastest wheel you could get was like this fast, like jogging speed. And think about it, if that's the top speed of the wheel, it means you can't really go that fast. You know, like on a, let's say a Sherman, the top speed they say is 80 kilometers an hour, but you shouldn't really go much more than 70 or else you're like near the limit. So imagine having a 12 mile per hour machine that means you can really only go like 10 and you're at the limit you're at like you're in the danger zone you know you're like on the threshold of cutting out at 10 
I think they were even slower. Like the first wheels were like eight miles an hour, top speed. And this is oh man, this feels so dorky, guys. This is so oh man, this feels dorky going this slow. You get different looks. Like when you go like slow like this, you get certain people will like smile at you because they're like, oh look, it's cool, you know to. Segway and those same people though if they saw you going fast they would be frowning at you like oh look at this hoon you know you get certain reactions like that but then you've got the other type of people that will smile when they see you going fast they'll be like oh look at that but if those people saw you going slow they'd be like ah look at that dork on this friggin uh, what, I don't even know what you'd call it. If you saw someone just going like walking speed on one of these, you just think it's some kind of walking table, walking platform. Kind of like what I'm developing, isn't it? But they're not meant to be cool. So they don't get the best reactions, you know what I mean? And guys, see, <laughs> I just went past this dude right there. And I don't want to, I don't want this thing to scream out, please decelerate. You know, just <laughs> go past someone. It's like, it's the cringiest thing. Because I'm only going like freaking walking speed. And this thing is saying, please decelerate, you know. It's ridiculous. And yeah, we've got a little ways to go, guys. A little. Please decelerate. Oh, oh buddy. Got a little ways to go. At this speed, it's going to take three times as long as what it normally takes on my Sherman or in my car. Probably, actually, the car is probably at certain times it can be even slower because of traffic. Yeah, at certain times, this would still beat the car, you know, even at you know these speeds. Look at that. You got these. Please decelerate. Little Groms. Wonder Groms. Wallace and Gromit. Guys, let's check out the app. I've got the phone in here. And you know what? I could be doing it on my watch, but because see the crack on the screen. Now when I open the app, it, it wants me to log in. So I have to type in my email and password to use the app but I can't because of the crack on the screen I can't press like one of the letters so I can't use the app on my phone on my watch anymore it sucks but I can still do it on my phone and my phone's cracked as well and funny story this phone got run over by this exact wheel guys I dropped my phone and it went under the wheel like ages ago this has been like that ever since I reckon it must have been like eight months ago or something and oh look at that what is that thing and yeah like it hasn't really affected it, it looks like i think it did affect it. it i get like my bluetooth always cuts out so maybe it did but anyway look that's where we're at 83 percent 80.5 volts 5k's an hour and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust the tilt back so we're going here wheel where is it speed alert Oh, maybe I can turn the speed alerts off, guys. This would be awesome if I could. Look, the speed alert. See the speed alert settings are there. I can't go above... Oh, let's see if you can see that. I can't go above 24 because, you know, I have to get those Ks. But maybe I can turn it off and it will just, like, leave me alone. Oh, 1K an hour. Uh... Nah, you can't. All right. Friggin' screw it then. Pedal tilt. There we go. See the pedal tilt? I'll put it back three degrees. 
because I've got no power pads and that's one thing I do to keep safe you know to stop from sliding off the front during a bump or even during braking hard braking you know all right that's it oh look and you've got the lateral you've got the lateral pel see that lateral limit there it's at 40 degrees that's for like leaning into corners you know when I do drifting I often cut out because of the lean angle and that's awesome I remember in a video a while back I measured my lean angle and it was like 52 degrees on one of my drifts so let's see how high that goes oh look it goes up to 75 that's crazy that's awesome guys we'll set up 46 there all right let's keep going I didn't show it. I didn't show it on camera, but before I left, I put in some air into the tire. And when I like first put the the thing, hola! When I first put the thing on the nozzle, I um some liquid came out, some fluid came out. So yeah, and what that was, it's the slime that I put in there months ago. It's not slime. It's um. It's called Never Flat. It's just some white liquid, kind of slimy, but it's not, it's not the slime, you know, the classic slime you hear about. I hear a lot of bad things about that stuff, like it doesn't work properly and it's not a long-term solution, people say, but this stuff, I've had it in here for friggin' six, like, I would say at least six months. And it didn't lose any pressure at all. Sorry about the noise. It, it lost barely any pressure, guys. It like, I checked, like I said, I pumped it up before leaving just now. And the pressure was still at 32 PSI. And six months ago is when I put that slime in and then pumped it up. And I didn't pump it up ever since. It must have been at around 36 PSI when I did that. So it's lost only four PSI in six months. That's like, that's better than a brand new tire. I mean, that's perfectly sealed, almost. Man, at these speeds, we're getting owned out here. Instead of owning the streets, I'm getting owned by the streets. I like this, um, I like this shop entrance, guys. See, look, it's an art shop. And look at the entrance. It looks cool for some reason. Like, it looks like, like it's only half done or something, you know? Like it's under development. You know, like they never finished the job. But it just looks awesome. I reckon it looks awesome. All right, guys, you know what? I think that's enough testing. We'll end it here and I'll, I'm gonna head off and get my shopping done. I don't want to pull you through this slow riding anymore. By the time I'm back, by the time I get back, I should be like, I should have around eight miles on the clock. So we're gonna be closer to getting there. And then I'll do another update once I'm, you know, getting past that point where it's not gonna um, slow me down. What the hell? I just felt something weird. Like, almost like a flat tire. I don't know. Let me. I hope not. Nah, it's not flat. Man, I felt some something strange just there. Uh, anyway, we'll update soon. After I've got past those miles. Unlock the speed limit on this thing. Alright guys, peace. See you soon.